Good morning, Prime 2. The lesson of today is lesson 87 and 88, adding two and three digits number with regrouping. We have learned so much about regrouping the past few days. We have talked about regrouping in the ones place and we have discussed regrouping in the tens place. But what if an addition problem require us to regroup in both the ones and tens places? Let's look at the problem together. If I have 156 plus 265, let's draw this problem and place value chart. The first number is 156. So I have 6 in ones. I will draw 6 little squares in ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 5 in turns. I will draw 5, 6 in turns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five and just one in hundred so I will draw one in hundred the second number is 265 in in one so you have five so I will draw five little squares in ones one two three four five and six is six and ten so I have one two three four five six and two in hundreds now I want to make addition that means I will collect all I have. In once I have 6 in the first number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 5 in the second number, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. What will I do? I will count all I have, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now what will I do? I will regroup 10 ones as 110. I will regroup 10 ones as 110. Now I will go to the tens. In the first number I have 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the second number I have 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I will count all I have. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now what will I do? I will regroup 10 tens as 1 in 100. I will regroup 10 tens as 1 in 100. Now what I have? I have just 1 in 1s and I have just 2 in 10s and 4 in 100 so the answer will be 421 so 156 plus 265 equal what equal 421 let's open page 54 now i will give you some examples let's draw our place value pictures and regroup when we need it let's add to find the sum the first example is 536 plus 25. I will draw the first number as 6 in 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 3 in 10s. 1, 2, 3, and 5 in 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The second number is 25. So I will draw 5 squares in 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2 sticks and tens. The first example 536 plus 25. What will I do? I will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What will I do? I will regroup 10 ones as 1 tenths. And in tons I have 6, I don't need to make a regroup, and in 100 I have 5, I don't need make a, a regroup. So in ones I have just 1, and in tens I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and in 100 I have 5. So the answer will be 561. 
The second example is 619 plus 111. I will draw the first number. A is 9 and 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And just one second tense. This is the one second tense. And 6 in 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the first number. And the second number is 111. That means I will draw just one small square in once and one stick in tons and one square in hundred. So now I have what? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten squares in ones. What will I do? Excellent. I will regroup. 10 ones is 1 tens. So I will regroup, regroup all squares as 1 stick in tens. Now I haven't any squares in ones. That means here I have 0. And here I have 3 sticks in tens. And in 100 I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the answer will be. 730. So 619 plus 111 equals 730. Let's go to the third example. I have two digits plus two digits. That means I will draw three squares in once. One, two, three, and seven sticks in tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. And I have here two in ones and six sticks in tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count. Here I have one, two, three, four, five in ones. And here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What will I do? Excellent. Now I will regroup 10 tens as 100. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I will make it in one group as 100. Now I have 5 in ones, 3 in tens, 1 in 100. So the answer will be 135. So 73 plus 62 equal 135. Let's go to the example number 4. Here I have 387 plus 426. I will draw it. I will draw 7, seven squares in once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And in 10, I must draw 8 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 3 squares in 100. 1, 2, 3. The second number is 426. That means I will draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 squares in ones and two sticks in tens and four squares in hundred. Let's count. Here in ones I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now what will I do? I will regroup ten ones as one tens. And replace it by one stick in tens. Here in ones I have just a three, and in tens I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What will I do? Excellent. Now I want to make another regroup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I will regroup 
the sentence add just one in hundred. So in tens I have just one, and in hundred I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the result will be eight hundred and thirty. So three hundred eighty-seven plus four hundred twenty-six equal what? Equal eight hundred and thirty. Example number five: eight hundred and twelve plus forty-eight. I will draw it as two squares in ones, and just one stick in tens, and eight squares in hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the second number is forty-eight, so I will draw eight squares in ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four sticks in tens. One, two, three, four, and I haven't any hundred. Let's count here in ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What will I do? I will regroup all of these squares as one stick in tens. So in ones I haven't any square, it's a zero, and in tens I have one, two, three, four, five, six sticks in tens, and in hundred I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the answer will be eight hundred and sixty. That's mean eight hundred and twelve. Plus 48 equal 860. Let's go to the last example. I have 47 plus 43. That means I have 7 squares in ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 4 sticks in tens. 1, 2, 3, 4. The second number is 43. That means I have 3 squares in ones. And 4 sticks in tens. Let's count. Here I have in ones 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What will I do? I will regroup all of the squares because they are 10 as 1 stick in tens. So in ones I haven't any squares and in tens I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't need to make another group because they are less than 10, so the answer will be 90. That's mean 47 plus 43 equal 90. Now let's open page 56 and solve this problem. 145 plus 155. What will I do? I will start from units or ones. In ones I have 5 plus 5, it will be what? By counting 5 plus 5 equals 10. So I will write just 0 and 1 carry up. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 plus 5 equals what? Equal 10. So I will write just 0 and 1 carry on 1. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So 145 plus 155 equals 300. Let's go to page 58. In 58, we will write two examples. The first one, 555 plus 284. In the second one, 381 plus 494. We will solve it in the opposite page by using a place value chart. The first number is 555. That means I will draw five squares in ones and 5 sticks in 10 and 5 squares in 100. The second number is 284. That means I will draw 4 squares in 1 and 8 sticks in 10 and 2 squares in 100. Let's count. The first one in 1's I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't need to make a regroup, so I will write 9. And in tens, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, 
I will need to make a regroup. I will take 10 tens and make and replace it with 1 in 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I will make a regroup and replace it by 1 in 100. So now in tens I have just the 3 and in 100 I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 555 plus 284 equal 839. The second one is 381 plus 494. I will draw the first number, 1 square in 1s, and 8 sticks in 10s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 3 squares in 100. And the second number is 494. I will draw 4 squares in 1s, and 9 sticks in tons and four squares in hundred. So in once I have one, two, three, four, five. I don't need to make a regroup. And in tens I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will take this ten tons and replace it by one square in ones in hundred. Sorry. And in tens I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and in hundred I have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the answer will be eight hundred seventy five. So three hundred eighty one plus four hundred ninety four equal what? Excellent, eight hundred seventy five. I wish all of you understand. And I will see you later. Thank you.